morning. Uh, this is Dr. Alduri. As you remember, uh, yesterday we spoke about the effect of deficiency of vitamin D on general health. And we spoke about the importance of checking vitamin D as the issue of deficiency and its effect on the body health is very much underrated. Now, the age at which the difference, the deficiency can affect uh, the human being comes in maybe children, adult, uh, women above the age of 65, all that together. Uh, American Academy of Family Physicians requested that um, 4,000 international units to be given uh, to kids uh, through diet and supplement. For adult, it will be with normal vitamin D, it will be 700 to 800 international units, which can come in two tablets, 400 milligram. So they can take one tablet AM and one tablet PM. Uh, for deficient people, it's preferable to do 50,000 units, which comes in one capsule once a week. It was found that uh, absorption and effect of vitamin D will be much less, much better if it is taken infrequently as uh, opposed to taking it daily. Now, there are some very interesting issues that comes with the deficiency of vitamin D that men, many people are unaware of. Vitamin D will help in a woman above the age of 65 help to reduce risk of fall. And the fall is the most common incident that could happen in those women as a result of deficiency and proximal muscle weakness. The fall increases risk of a fracture and a fracture will lead to increased risk of death due to many issues related to the fracture, being hospitalized, being bedridden, all that stuff. In children, it can cause rickets, which is bowing of the bone, and osteomalacia, softening. Uh, in adult, in general, there are so many things that can be associated. It was found to be associated with increased incidence of colon cancer, However, this was confirmed in a couple of studies. Uh, more studies needs to be done to confirm this. Also, increased risk of cardiac issue, cardiovascular issue, as increased risk of heart attack and increased risk of hypertension, particularly in patients with level less than 25 nanogram per mil. Now, um, vitamin deficiency also associated with increased risk of depression and many patients got very much improvement in their depression when they take vitamin D. There were very interesting things that uh, happen with the vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin deficiency results in thicker skin. Effect of skin is a tremendous. Deficiency can occur in obese women and the obese women are at risk of diabetes, there is increased incidence of uh, insulin resistance. Uh, all these things together can be rectified in effect by improving on the level of vitamin D. People with living in high uh, alt latitude uh, are deficient in vitamin D and they need to know about this and check their vitamin D and get supplement. Also genetic and metabolism work together uh, and this has been also addressed. The vitamin deficiency increases risk of infection uh, and increases risk of fatty liver. Also, sugar consumption reduces vitamin D. So sugar consumption is one of the uh, issues that has to be addressed if you want a supplement with vitamin D. Um, also, um, pollution in the air results in vitamin D deficiency. Now, there are certain manifestations that comes with vitamin D deficiency. First, patients feel extremely fatigued, risk of insomnia, uh, change of bowel habit between constipation and diarrhea, skin rash, nausea, uh, increased headache, throbbing bone pain, uh, weakness of the muscle as we discussed before. There's an interesting issue that is 
With the supplement, farm-raised fish has much less amount of vitamin D than taken from the uh, sea. Also, grain-fed uh, chicken, uh, grain-fed animal will have much less vitamin D than grass-fed animal. Chicken that are uh, incarcerated uh, are much less with vitamin D than those who roam outside. Well, there are many ways to prevent deficiency of vitamin D. If you are on any medication that would interfere with the metabolism of vitamin D, uh, it should be um, maybe altered or changed to a different one. Medication that uh, interferes with vitamin D are anticonvulsants, uh, steroids, um, and others. Um, this should be addressed with the primary care. Also, uh, things that can prevent uh, vitamin deficiency is exposure to sunlight. However, exposure on sunlight, to sunlight on its own is not enough. It gives about 4,000 international units per exposure. So if you get exposed to the sunlight, you need to take additional supplements in order to prevent the deficiency. Uh, conditions of uh, malabsorption uh, results in and diarrhea, results in a lot of loss of vitamin D, and that has to be addressed. Also, uh, people with dark skin need to take more supplement than uh, with fair skin. Um, breastfeeded uh, children are uh, exclusive of breastfed children, are at risk of uh, deficiency in vitamin D more than others. Also, obesity, women with index more than 30 are at increased risk. And those women who lack exercise also. So in, in essence, if you exercise, take supplement, expose yourself to the sun at least once a day, um, treat the medical illness with medication that does not interfere with the vitamin D, uh, women above the age of 65 need to take vitamin D regularly in order to prevent osteoporosis and to prevent recurrent uh, fall that could lead to fracture. Now there is a difference between vitamin D2 and D3. D3 is more effective than D2, however it's more expensive. And that's why many practitioners prescribe D2 rather than D3. We can combine both by taking high doses of D2 and add to it once or twice a week of D3 to cut on the cost and to enhance the effect of vitamin D. Before the end of today's show, we will be adding PowerPoint slide discussing all the details for those of you who are interested in knowing more. Well, I hope this lecture or this discussion had helped in increasing your awareness of the importance of vitamin D deficiency and the importance of getting it checked on a regular basis and replace the deficiency uh, if you can. You have a good day.